Hello, welcome to another Fiddlehead Fiddle Lesson. I'm going to show you a good beginner tune called Auld Lang Syne. It's the classic tune that people sing on New Year's Eve. It's actually a Scottish tune. That's about all I know about it, about its history. Anyway, um, so I'm going to play the tune and then we'll learn it in a very step-by-step, note-by-note way. And then we'll play the whole thing again, but much slower so you can play along. Here goes the whole thing. Okay. Before we do the tune, I recommend you practice the D major scale. Let's do it. Here's what that is. It's basically open one, two, three on the D, open one, two, three on the A. You can do it up and down. Practice it a ton as a warm up. And then, and then now what I want you to do, at, assuming you've paused the video and practiced the D major scale, so I'm going to go open, one, two, three, and then stop and keep your fingers there. And basically you've just found your notes. This is a very good practice for your beginner to find your notes. Um, and now we're really in a good position to begin the tune because we have a little bit of a hard jump right off the bat. We're going to go open D to three on D. I think if you're a beginner, that's difficult. Practice that a bunch. Ideally, you learn to lift your fingers in tandem. All three of them. But you can also practice this with just keeping your first and second off and your, open, and your three down. Putting just your three down. Ideally, as a fiddler, you should be able to do both, and having both those options will give you more freedom as you play. So now we're going to add to that phrase. Open three, two, three. Once more. That's followed by a phrase starting one on A, to open A, and then Three on D back to A. I'm going to cycle this piece because I think this is also a challenging piece that will help your technique if you practice it. Let's put the first two pieces together to make the first quarter. Again. Once more. Let's move on. The second quarter starting first on A, going to three on D. One open three on D. Adding. So I added three on D back to one on A. And now we're going to add three on A, open E. Now we're going to cycle that. Here we go.
first quarter was this. Next quarter was this. Let's put them together for the first half. Once more. Good. Let's move on to the third quarter. Starting open E to three on A. And then to first on A. Here's that again. And then we're going to add, starting D3, we're going to add D3 to that. Good. Next piece. Sorry. Open A to, to D3 to open A. Again. Now starting that whole third quarter is this. Here it is again. Good. Last quarter is going to start first on A. Going to D3. and then first on D. Ending on D3. Here's the whole fourth quarter. Here's the third quarter again. Good. Let's put together the whole second half. Wait, I think I just did it. I'll do it again. You now have all the pieces of the tune. Let's just do the whole thing. If you're uncertain of it or anything, you miss any part along the way, just rewind and find it and practice it. So here we go. One, two, three. I forgot to mention that the tune really starts on the fourth beat, what's called a pickup. Um, I'm going to play the tune even slower so you can play along more easily. One, two, three, four. Very good. Thanks for working so hard. And then if you get that down as a bonus, you can easily play the tune starting on G. Be the same fingering. You just start it on the G. So that's called transposing and it's a really fun thing to do. I do it with a lot of students 
and it'll make you such a better musician to do that. So even though you may be a beginner, start transposing things to other strings. Okay, well, thanks for watching the video. I had a good time making it for you, and let me know how it goes. Stay in touch, write me a letter, um, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching my video. Excellent.